Hi, my name is John Brawley. I was the director of photography on this production. Uh, Blackmagic had a very simple idea with this project. They, they wanted to show the camera off in a variety of different shooting environments you'd see commonly on any film set that you walk onto. But they also wanted to do it in a way that was very accessible, that almost anyone else could replicate. The uh, offer scene was shot using Zeiss Master Primes and we were shooting at T2. It was lit very simply. We used a 1K Dito Octodome with an egg crate and it was running at about 50%, so it's a little bit warmer than uh, tungsten there. I used a 100 watt Dito light to also pick out some glints on the uh, whiskey bottle itself. Uh, that also became a backlight in this close-up where he's answering uh, getting a text message on his phone and you'll see the illumination from the phone screen itself lighting up his face. You'll notice there's a little bit of heat haze out the window as well on some of those very distant highlights. And it really handles the mix of colour temperatures really well uh, and we're able to work at fairly low light levels and still get a fantastic image with very minimal noise. So using a Moby M15, I was able to do some tracking shots alongside our actor here. We also had the Zeiss Otis 28mm lens and we were shooting at T2.8. This wider shot here on the dolly was shot using the Master Primes, again shooting at T2.8. In keeping with our approach to keep the lighting very simple, I just used the available light that was in the car park and all I did was simply twist out a few tubes that were above camera. For these night driving shots, we used a Movi M15 and we rigged a 4.6K EF mount camera with the Sigma 18 to 35 shooting wide open at f1.8. Have a look too at the way the dynamic range is holding that highlight information in the headlights. Normally they're very difficult to hold. Uh, you can see we've got some great information still being held in those headlights. And it's a great example of how high dynamic range, even at night time, still gives you a great looking picture. Hi, my name is Stephen O. I'm the CEO of XM2 Aerial, and also I'm a camera operator. A lot of drone operators out there right now are using the similar gimbal system as what we're using. They're using what's called the FreeFly M15. Uh, the Ursa Mini actually adapts to the M15 very nicely. The weight of the Ursa Mini enables the average drone operator to lift it safely with good flight times. Another advantage of the uh, 15 stop uh, dynamic range is Typically when you're shooting from a tripod or a dolly or even a techno crane, you know, the camera, camera movement is typically within a field of about 180 degrees. With the drone application, there's shots where we have to turn 270 and sometimes we turn a full 360. That means light changes dramatically. You know, sometimes we'll, be, we'll have backlight and then all of us got, we've got front light or looking directly into the sun or even reflections off the water. So, you know, that range enables us to be able to capture both worlds um, safely and confidently. We're at the house. This is my favorite part of this short film. Uh, all of these shots here are shot off speed at 33 frames a second. We're shooting reverse order, so sunset for sunrise. Uh, you'll notice that there's not a lot of lighting equipment being used. There's just a little bit of negative fill, but the amazing dynamic range of the camera meant that we could capture all of this contrast in the scene. You'll notice you can see outside the windows, but you can also see inside the pantry. Uh, that's a huge amount of tone range to be able to capture in just the one frame. I was actually blown away when I was shooting this because I couldn't believe that we could see both inside and outside the house with such an extreme amount of contrast. And it really shows how much dynamic range the camera is actually able to capture.
My name is Ziggy Firstall. I'm a colorist here at Company 3. I work on television commercials, episodic television, and feature films. Being a colorist at Company 3, we see a lot of different camera formats. It's all raw footage, uh, 0.6K native. What's nice about that, I can just drop it straight into my timeline and it uh, plays real time. I have all the raw settings. You're working with raw, uncompressed images, so it seems to be a really nice, simple workflow. One of the nice things for me as a colorist is just kind of just fell into place, which says to me that the color science behind the product, not only in the camera, but also in the resolve, is kind of well matched. The drone shot at night tilts up from sort of literally like a black road, like f at first sort of dawn. You can lift it up and see quite a lot of detail. But what I guess surprisingly to me, uh, just looking at all the images across the board, is how clean the shadows looked. Now, everything that you've seen in this production, we shot at ISO 800. It was also shot raw, uh, uncompressed. So you're getting to see exactly what the camera can do. It's a genuine evolution and step forward in the terms of the dynamic range and in terms of the color fidelity of its images. And I can imagine it always having a place on my set.